Alhamdulillah, thumma salatu wa salamu ala ashwafil anbiyahi wal musalin. Amma abad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome everyone of us back to Madrasa to Majma in Bahrain. This video is specifically for those in the beginners class. I'm going to be showing you a physical walkthrough on how to use the online platform. So, to get to the screen that I have before me now, you will need to go to majmaulbahrain.com. You would have already done that while registering. But just as a reminder, it is majmaulbahrain.com. You can see it here. So, once you get to majmaulbahrain.com, you just go to student login. Now, if you've logged in before, it will tell you you're logged in. So, in my case, it's telling me you're already logged in. If you're not logged in before, it's going to prompt you to input your username, that's your email or username, and then your password. So once you are done inputting it, it's going to log you in. So once you are done with that, you just need to proceed to the dashboard. So once you click on the dashboard, if you did your registration properly, you should have an interface similar to this. Ideally, you should only register for one of the classes, but because of explanation purpose, I am registered for both the beginners and intermediate class. So, but this video is specifically for those in the beginners class. So, for you that is in the beginners class, what you will only be seeing is just this one, this single one, beginners class. You are not going to be seeing the intermediate class since you didn't enroll for it. So, once you get there, all you need to do is double click on the beginners class. Once you double click on the beginners class, it's going to load this interface, an interface similar to this. So as you can see. Now, for the beginners class, if this is your first time opening it like this, you won't see continue learning. What you see here is going to be start learning. So what you see here is going to be start learning. But in my case, because I've been here before and I've actually clicked on start learning, subsequent times it will ask me to continue learning. So for you to, for you to be able to start your classes, you have to click on the start learning button. So once you click on the start learning button, it's going to take you into the interface for the class. Now you have the introduction. So the introduction is where this video is so that you watch so and after that you would have the kiora because just as we've explained in the introductory video the kiora is what we'll be doing for the first month so to attend the classes for kiora you just need to click on kiora do you understand so for any of the videos for each of the days you would see a time stamp with it so whenever you see a video that has a time stamp you can see this one is 1733 and this one is 1452 so it means that what there is a video there but these ones that have 0000, 000, 000 it means that there's actually no video there if you click on it you will see that it's not going to have anything there for you so there's no video here but however if i click on this the one for example that has timeline you will see what it represents. You can see that there's no video here. This is for the day three. If I click on the day one now, for example, it's still taking a while to do. Let's wait for it to load. Okay, you can see it's downloading. So while it's loading, I want to mention something. Just in case you are doubting where you are, if you look up here. You will see the day you are. You can see this is day one. So, if, in case you are doubting that which one am I in, so you'll be able to know by what you can see up here. You can see it is day one. So, if I click on day two, it will change to day two. And the same thing if I click to another day. So, you can see now this day one has actually has a video. And that's because there's a video for us there. So, and if I should click on the play button, it's going to start playing the video for me. So, if you see it, you can see. You can see so the video will play. So once you are done watching the video, do you understand? 
for the day you can always come to the next day's own and also watch the video so the same thing applies that you watch it now for me i have already marked it as complete so when you click on any day when you are done watching it will give you the option to mark as complete because i've marked mine as complete that is why it is there let me see if i close this thing if it will show me the mark as complete no, it's not it just took me back so what i'm just saying in essence is whenever you are under a video once you click on mark as complete for that specific video is actually going to tick it here so that's why it is green here it shows that oh you have taken that class so you come here to again day two you watch it and you also mark it as complete it will, it will tick it to that you have actually completed the class so it's in that order you'll be taking the classes so when we have day three you will see it here on the third day when we have day four you also see it here on the fourth day and on and on and on and the same thing for all the other classes we'll be doing subsequently so we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it better understood and said and forgives us our shortcomings. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.